this is like my fourth, fifth time recording. I've recorded this a lot of times. Um, basically, there's a lot of changes in my AU. It's not an inanimate insanity or object overload AU anymore because of how much changes there are and the fact that the main character, who is for some reason baseball, well, I mean, he could be because he's one of the leaders in the Grand Slams, but, like, baseball's technically the main one in the AU, and he's just nothing like the baseball in Inanimate Insanity. Like, they have completely different personalities. They have completely different looks. Baseball isn't even a baseball at this point. <laughs> so the only thing they have in common is a name. And that's literally the only thing they really have in common, especially with my other characters. It's the same thing. So I just don't consider it an inanimate insanity AU anymore. <laughs> same thing goes with the object overload characters. And if you're wondering, my original AU was just an anime insanity, so a little backstory here, like, of how I made it. But it originally just started as two separate AUs, where they were all heroes in human forms and had the exact same personalities and very basic designs. So they all started as, again, superheroes who would help and protect others. And the plot twist was that they were all originally humans, but had died without finding a purpose in life. So then they became heroes to help others find the purpose in theirs. And then there would just be villains trying to stop them. Basic thing, basic. And like, it was both separate AUs, but the same thing. Like, I could combine them, and there would just be so many characters who are the exact same. Like... All of the Alliance, they had the exact same personality as the Alliance in Object Overload. So that's when I kind of decided, well, not, that's not when I decided, but as time went on, I started changing a lot of their designs uh, to the point where you would not even be able to tell that it was a human version of the character, especially Coney. Coney went from very innocent to a villain, uh, yeah, that she's a villain now. And, for example, baseball. He went from a very masculine male to, that was one of the most powerful to probably one of the weakest and a femboy. <laughs> so, um, yeah. That, that was a big change there. And now all they have in common is names. I've said that I, two times, I think. <laughs> So, um, yeah, it's not an inanimate or object overload AU anymore, so please don't call it that. And another thing I need to talk about is what is and what isn't canon in my story. Because I do want people to know it. I, like, I really like the idea of having a story that people talk about and theorize about. Like, but a lot of the old animations are no longer canon. So... I am going to be making a playlist, well, two playlists, of the things that are and are not canon. And I'm going to be unlisting a lot of videos <laughs> while actually just deleting them because they aren't animation memes, and I don't want my channel to just be littered with random stuff. So I'm going to be deleting whips. I'm going to be deleting random shit posts. Well, not like the good shit post. If it's a good shit post, I'll keep it. <laughs> so, uh, that's kind of just the things I wanted to talk about. I will be live streaming later or something after I finish all my schoolwork and stuff. I will be streaming to explain the differences. And, uh, Quizzy and Skittles, uh, two of my viewers who for some reason simp for two of the villains. They aren't villains anymore. <laughs> Vanilla and Candy Cane aren't even villains anymore. Well, Vanilla is still a villain. She just works alone. Silver, she's still blind, but got blinded by another reason. And she isn't even a villain anymore. <laughs> Literally, Silver got replaced with her brother. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's kind of the only things I wanted to talk about. I'll explain more in the live stream. <laughs> Bye.